What is up? Welcome to Every Single Guitars, where the goal of this channel is to review every single guitar ever made. Today I'm gonna review a guitar in my main collection. In this channel, I review several different guitars, different models of guitars, different brands, different styles. But to be honest, I'd say about 90% of the guitars that I've reviewed, those guitars are actually guitars that are not in my main collection. Maybe I play it for a couple weeks, couple months, couple days and then I sell it. But for the guitars that I buy and the ones that I really like, I usually just keep those for myself in my main collection. And this guitar is definitely one of them. Today I have a vintage 1974 Fender Stratocaster hardtail in natural wood finish. For me personally, when it comes to guitars, electric guitars, my favorite colorway is actually not even a color. I guess you can say it's a color, but my favorite type of guitar are natural body wood guitars. No paint over it, no color paint over it. I just love it when a guitar has a natural body. You can truly see what a guitar is, you know, and what is a guitar? It's a piece of wood. If the wood does not look good, Good. natural just doesn't look good so I feel like for the natural wood body guitars they specifically pinpoint the quality woods or the woods that look good to create the body and that is definitely the case for this because this finish this natural wood just looks very nice in my opinion so this is a hardtail for those of you guys who don't know what a hardtail is it basically means no tremolo or no whammy bar system usually for a fender strat the whammy is probably the most famous feature of a Fender Stratocaster. But for a hardtail, you see on the back, there is no back plate. There's actually just six little holes for the string. So when you restring the guitar, the string goes directly through the body of the wood straight to the front. So in my opinion, I feel like it gives it a different sound or a different tone to a traditional or regular Stratocaster where there's the back plate with the springs and whatever. And for me, I don't use the whammy bar at all. You know, sometimes if a guitar does come with the whammy i may just play around with it for a little bit but when it comes to actually playing music and practicing i never use the whammy bars so hardtail is actually a perfect stratocaster for me so some unique features about this guitar and also the 70s fender stratocasters sometimes 70s stratocasters or fenders made from the 70s they get some hate from you know the guitar community or the fender stratocaster community they say stuff like 70s fenders had poor quality control 70s fenders are not good quality they're built with inferior parts inferior woods you know the bullet truss rod on the top and the three bolts on the back makes it an inferior guitar and trust me I've heard all those things I've read all those things on the forms where it feels like everyone's a guitar master you know on these guitar forms you read these forms and everyone just seems like an expert when it comes to Fender Strats right so I obviously read that too but for me I take those as a grain of salt you know I personally have to own and play a Fender or any guitar for me to truly judge a guitar for what it is. And for this particular 74 Strat, the build construction is good. I don't know where they say the construction is not good. And this is coming from someone who's owned a lot of Fenders and a lot of Fender Stratocasters. To me, this guitar is not good or bad. It's just different. It's not like an 80 Strat. It's not like a 90 Strat. It's not like a 60 Strat. And the thing that's different is just that they use different ideas when it came to the 70s guitars. For example, this is an earlier Stratocaster. So this is actually a three-way switch. It's not a five-way switch. The five-way was introduced, I think maybe the mid 70s. I forget the exact date, but 74, they didn't have the five-way switch. You can actually do the in-between ones like the two position and the four position, but you actually have to put it perfectly in between the center to get those tones. But you know, that's not really a big issue. It's not really hard to do actually. You know, like I said, hardtail, so no back plate, three bolts for the metal neck plate. And some people say the three bolts is inferior to the four bolts because it's less stability 
when it comes to the neck. So sometimes the neck may get loose um, out of the pocket. And in theory, I do agree with that. You know, I feel like if there's only three bolts compared to four, it may get loose when you play. But for me personally, I've never had that issue with this guitar. And dude, like this is stuck. Like even if it was two bolts, uh, I feel like two bolts would make a big difference. But three and four, the difference is not that much to the point where I could even notice it when playing. The tuners are Fender 70 style tuners. The tuning pegs, they are a little different shape. It's not like the vintage circle or oval shape. It's not like the modern shape for the tuners that they have. It's just a different looking tuner. But regardless, the tuner is fine. Tuners are great actually. 70s Fender also have the big enlarged headstock design. And this is pretty funny because when I first started getting into playing guitar, I've seen 70s fenders or the headstocks that are, were bigger. And to be honest, I hated the big headstock design. I just never liked the design. I always preferred the smaller, you know, standard headstock design for the Fender Strats. But as I've gotten older and the more Strats and guitars that I've owned and played, I actually really like the 70s style headstock now, which is pretty interesting. I just think it gives it a very unique touch to a Strat because immediately if you look at this headstock design, you just know it's from the 70s. It's not from the 50s. It's not from the 60s. It's not from the 80s. 80s, it's not from the 90s. This headstock design is only unique to the 70s Fender guitars. And it's not just the Stratocaster. It's a cool feature, I think. Also, another big difference between a modern Stratocaster or a 70s Stratocaster is the location of the truss rod. Usually, truss rod for vintage guitars are on the bottom of the neck. But for the 70s Fender guitars, they actually put the truss rod on the top. And it's actually a bullet truss rod. And that makes it very easy to adjust the truss rod. You know, you don't have to take out the neck. All you have to do is just get an out wrench put it on the top twist it wherever to tighten it or loosen the neck makes it very easy very convenient to set up this guitar my favorite part of this guitar is actually this neck profile this is definitely some variation of a c-shaped neck it's a little bit slimmer than a modern c i'd say i actually feel like this neck may only be unique to 70s Fender Strats because like I said, even though I've played a lot of Stratocasters, I've never felt this specific neck profile. Very comfortable neck. In fact, this neck was so good, I was debating if I should take out the neck and then put it in my uh, my other uh, Stratocaster. But then I realized it might be kind of hard to do because this is a three bolt while my other Strat's a four bolt. And I also like to keep a guitar all original. I don't like modifying my guitars. So that's when I decided to just leave it as, as it is. Don't change anything, just keep the guitar all original. But this guitar is not not all original actually. The last donor, he put on a brass nut for better sustain. That was his words. I don't know if a bone nut and a brass nut is different in terms of, you know, sustain or tone. To be honest, I can't really tell the difference. But for me, when I was playing this guitar, no issues with the nut. I honestly can't even tell the difference. So I just decided to leave it the way it was instead of replacing it with a bone nut. You just don't see a lot of hardtail Fender Strats, typically from the older uh, vintage era. And that kind of makes sense because a lot of people buy the Stratocaster because of the tremolo system, because of the whammy bar. But like I said, for me, I don't use the whammy bar at all so trem or no trem it was no issue no big deal for me it's just a cool very unique fender stratocaster and in a natural finish like i said which i love so if you're looking for a vintage stratocaster and you don't want to spend 10k plus for like the 50s or 60s I'd say the 70s Strats or the 70s Fenders are actually pretty good guitars in my opinion. I think they're at a very affordable price, affordable for a vintage Fender guitar. And at the end of the day, if you don't like it, you can always resell it because there is a market for vintage Fenders. You know, you can't say the same for newer guitars. You know, like if you buy a new guitar at Guitar Center and you don't like it, you're probably not gonna get what you paid for it. But when it comes to the older Fender guitars, the older Gibson guitars, you know, 80s, 70s, 60s, etc. The resale value will always be there. You may not get it right away, but with patience 
and with persistence, you can probably get it. And that's coming from experience. I've always gotten the prices I want for all the guitars I've sold to this point. So in other words, it's a great investment piece as well. Something that just doesn't lose value because Fender is a reputable company it's an old company and it's just a company that people like and that people will buy people will spend money for 1974 fender stratocaster hardtail in natural finish overall a very good guitar build quality i probably give this an 8.5 out of 10. like i said even though it's the 70s and people don't really like the 70s guitars i mean for me i'm holding this in my hand right now i've played it for over a year i've had no issues in terms of construction or the reliability of this guitar everything was just like a normal strat that i've owned tone i give this an 8.5 out of 10. you have the classic Stratocaster sound, you know, that twangy, stratty sound. But because of the hardtail feature on the back and the strings going straight through the body rather than with the springs on the back plate, it just gives this guitar a unique and different sound from a regular Stratocaster. So you get the classic Strat tone, but with a little bit different tone mixed in as well. You're very impressed with this 74 Fender Hardtail Stratocaster. So all the hate I've been hearing, I just don't understand because this guitar is pretty good in my opinion. 